Hi, everybody. I'm here with Sha. <laughs> so creepy. Hi, guys. I'm here with the lovely Mimi today. Yo, what's up? Oh my god. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm here with the lovely Mimi today. Hi. And we are going to show you our top kombini picks. Yeah. So when we go to the convenience store here, this is the stuff that we always buy, pretty much. Yeah. And so. I am vegetarian, so mm. if there's any vegetarians out there who are coming to Japan to visit or live, I hope you can get a few little tips from my stuff. Totally. All right, okay, um, I'm gonna start with... Ooh. Onigiri! These are my two favorite types of onigiri. Sea chicken mayonnaise. <laughs> sea chicken? Is that tuna? Yeah. Oh, sea, yeah I got sea it. chicken means tuna. It depends on the kombini, but some of them are called sea chicken and some of them will say tuna mayo. This is like the typical onigiri that everyone likes, basically. <laughs> Unless you're vegetarian. Unless you're vegetarian. <laughs> I was gonna say, but I thought I shouldn't like cut that all off. <laughs> Happy dance. <laughs> I love onigiri. I love your happy dance. You, <laughs> you can see the sea chicken. <laughs> okay, what I actually picked up, you guys might have heard of natto. This is natto maki. And you have to open it and roll it with your hands. Wakame gohan, mm, which is like. I love that one. Yeah, it's really good. It's basically just little bits of wakame, which is a type of seaweed. It has a little thing here. Just open it. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. That one's a really simple flavor, so oh yeah. If you're like kind of scared about onigiri, you're not sure which ones you might want to try. Try try the wakame just as like a, a starter. Mm. All right, so this is my second favorite. No, this would probably be my top favorite. I love this one. Piri kara takana. That's what just like that? a pff, beats me. I don't even know how to say it in English. Is it like fish? <laughs> it's um a vegetable. Oh. It's like a leafy plant. I guess you could compare it to spinach, but it's spicy. Let's go. One. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get the filling, but I only got a little bit. Oh no, I can taste this. Um, oh, it's spicy. Right? Mm. I love that. It tastes, mm. Mm. <laughs> Oh, it just tastes like really yummy and spicy. <laughs> Sorry, I'm bad at explaining food. But seriously, that's how I would explain it too. Yummy. <laughs> Very yummy. We pull down here, open up. Okay, so we open it up here, pull this off, kind of roll it in like that. I did a bad job, no, but that's, that looks the, perfect. that's how it works. And inside is the goodness. Great protein for vegetarians. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I needed that protein. I can feel that protein going through my soul. Mm. It's delicious. Oh my god. Mm. You want some? No. <laughs> no, no, I don't. <laughs> All right. My next favorite is this Aroe yogurt. It's like a plain yogurt with chunks of aloe vera in it. That may sound gross if you're not used to eating aloe vera snacks, but they're very popular all over Asia, not just Japan. Can you see the chunks of aloe? They're like little jelly cubes. Mmm. Um. They have the texture. Hmm. How would you explain the texture? It's kind of like a gummy candy. They've got a really like mm. solid kind of mm. squishy texture. Like I was going to compare it to a cucumber at first, but it's not. Totally recommend trying this. It's probably one of those things that you wouldn't think that you want to try because it's weird if you're not used to it, but give it a shot. I think lots of you would really like this. All right, moving on to drinks. Yes. This is like my go-to drink when I go to the kombini. This is so kombicha. Mm -hmm. It's a green tea, but it's a mixture of a bunch of different teas, which is Ooh. cool. It gives it a really smooth flavor. <laughs> Do you define tea as smooth? Yeah. Sure, yeah. It's not very bitter. It's not sweet. It's oh just very gosh. smooth no, I was <laughs> simple. Hey, do you not know this one? I haven't tried it. Oh my god. Oh, I, you'll I love it. I don't think I've tried it. You can taste the mugi. I don't know how to say that in English. Is it um, barley? Barley tea? Maybe. Mugi yeah, mugi that sounds familiar. Barley tea. Oh, definitely. I can taste the mugi cha. Right. Mm, it's good. I like mugi cha. But it's like a smooth mugi Yeah, it's not quite the same. It's definitely not the same. Mm. I just love the selection of teas yes. in Japanese kombinis. <laughs> I'm such a tea anything. freak. Oh my god. Yeah. There's like at least 
How many would you say? At least Lots. 20. At least 20, 30? Even in a small kombini, there's gonna be yeah. like a big selection. Of green teas, black teas, sweetened teas, non-sweetened. Most of them are non-sweetened, which is very nice. Yes. Um, but you can also get ones like this one. They're that sweet. Which I also love. This is acerora and hibiscus Happy. sweetened um, black tea. I like this brand. Gogo the, the, yes, yeah, the yeah. Gogo no Kocha. They're famous for their milk tea and their, their straight black tea, yeah. but these flavored ones that they're coming out with recently are so delicious. Yes. Have you tried this? Um, yes, I have. Actually, I couldn't resist it love when it. I saw it. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah, the packaging's adorable and it's just so yummy. I love the packaging. The design is cute. Oh, and I love how it's not overly sweet. Like, I find the iced teas in Canada are filled with sugar. Like, grossly filled with sugar. It's more of like a soft drink that I feel like I shouldn't be drinking. But this one tastes a lot like tea. And you don't, you're not overpowered with the gross sweetness. It's just a subtle sweetness. Oh, it's delicious. Going to Darjeeling, fruity tea is so good. Oh, this is yes. so good. Okay, I gotta show mine. I have got salty. Lychee. Oh, okay, I haven't actually, tried this yet. In English it says salt and fruit, but here in Japanese the name is salty lychee, mm. which you hear and you think, what is that? <laughs> Ew. <But it's, laughs> That's what you think. Yeah. So, um, why is it a salt drink? Well, in summer in Japan, you are supposed to increase your intake of salt. Yeah, it because you sweat a lot. <laughs> yeah. So, a lot of drinks you'll find have salt in the title mm. or even snacks. Like, yeah. it's the salty version of this. Like, yeah. salty version of lemon candy. It, it became really popular. It was super popular in Japan and they kept producing it and I fell under its salty spell. I'm gonna have to try it. She's yeah. making it sound delicious. <laughs> Mahoto's favorite drink. Oh. <laughs> So good. And it's just so good. It's kind of like a an energy drink replacement, I guess, because it's very mm. refreshing. Mm. Right? Wow, that's good. Right? It's like an Aquarius that tastes good. <laughs> it is. It's very similar to Pokari or mm. Aquarius, but lychee. Ooh, dessert. Dessert time. Dessert. Dessert. The best time. This is my favorite, like all time favorite Japanese snack. I can totally say that. This is Burakusanda. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna open this up and show you guys what it looks like. Cause it's pretty hard to explain. Yeah, it really is. Right? <laughs> it's this cute little bar. I love that they come in this small package. Mm. Like this is only 115 calories and it's the most delicious thing you'll ever eat in your entire life. So let's break it and see if we can Ooh. see the inside. Ooh. See how it's got like Oreo cookie, like a dark chocolate cookie, and then it's got some light cookie as well. I don't know if you can see that in the middle there, but do you want some of oh, it? Oh yes please, thank you. Yay. <laughs> I can't explain the amazingness of this. It's just like there are no words for how good this is. Seriously, like how do you explain this? There's no, there's it's no like other It's like an snack. awesome pick me up. Yeah. Like, for the mid afternoon down. Yeah. When you're working and you're like, Ugh, Ugh. Mm, you can see the cookies better now. Look at those cookies. <laughs> Please try this, guys. You can get this in almost any kombini, I think. Mm. Um, grocery store as well. They sell them in bigger packages if you want to bring a bunch home to your family. Be careful if you're buying them in the summer because they melt <laughs> mm. very easily, but oh, so good. All right, guys. Well, I hope that gave you some ideas of things that you can try out when you go to the convenience store in Japan. These are all pretty safe choices, so I'm very confident that you will like most of these things. Yeah. Um, and even if you don't like them, they're not they're nothing that's like too out there, so it's not going to gross you out. So yeah, give it a shot, and I hope you like them. And leave me a comment uh, letting me know what your favorite konbini oh, yeah. thing is. If you've been to Japan, tell me what your favorite is. Maybe I will find something new to try out. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and make sure to check out Mimi's channel. She has her main channel her second channel um, a really cute channel that she does with Duncan and her makeup channel yeah. so seriously, and the other 47 <laughs> and other ones that I will list here no, no. No, she only more, has four just check out one of them it doesn't matter <laughs> no but they're totally awesome and I can recommend them all to you guys so please check them out oh, and um, I also have a vlog vlog channel Shala's I guess you life. can call it life. <laughs> um, it's basically just random videos uh, more kind of like relaxed stuff mm. it's not it's not always about like a topic. I'm just kind of, this is what I'm doing today. It's Come fun. hang out with me. Yeah. Fun. <laughs> <Aww>. Go subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Bye.